All right, everyone, welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to tune this old Maserati from the festival playlist this week. Uh, I'm going to only tune it for A class. I tried setting it up for S1 class, and it is just not competitive with other S1 class cars, and it doesn't handle super well with a good, like, a decent amount of horsepower in it. So let's set her up for A class and see how we get on. I already basically know what I'm going to do with this tune because I already set one up and it was fairly decent. So we're going to leave engine and conversion for drivetrain alone. Tires, we're going to go with semi-slicks because we can use the regular slick racing tires, but we don't want to. So semi-slicks, we're going to make them as wide as possible. As you can see, I've already done this once or twice. How much do A class... Ooh, yeah, that takes us all the way up to the top. We don't want to do that. And then we're just going to give us, give ourselves all of the tunable stuff. Everything. Up with throttle response time, differential, etc. Extra brakes. We want the racing springs, roll bars. And we're going to leave these two alone because if we add those too much, it'll make us over a class. And right now, I believe we have the ability to add three horsepower. Perfect. That gives us a little bit extra weight, less than 10 pounds extra weight, and three extra horsepower. Oh, we have better tires. So, custom tuning. First things first, we're going to drop these guys just a hair. We're going to gear it to the end and call it good there, because we won't be using that much of it. We're going to drop this a whole bunch. And then a little here, and a little here, and just a little here. Uh, if you don't know what all of these do, if you want, you can read the description. Basically, camber is the angle of the tires in and out. Toe is the angle of the tires pointing outwards and inwards, like uh, like crossing your eyes is in, and then if you could look in both directions at once like a bird can, that's out. Front angle caster, or front caster angle, basically is like dynamic camber. I think that was the term somebody used for it. Just gives you more camber as you're going through the corner. We're going to soften this, and then soften this just a hair. Same thing with the springs. Soften, soften. Not too much on the rear. And then slammed. Not that it matters that much. Damping. We're going to drop this guy to 12. We're going to leave this at 10, I think. And then we're going to put these at half of that. 6 and 5. Arrow we can't do anything with, sadly. That would help a decent bit. And then we're going to add this guy. We're going to add some some uh, lockup to this guy. Not much. 55%. And then this one will be 25%. So the best time I got with this thing all the way upgraded S1 class was like 107 around the festival track. So we're going to go see what this will do with a decent A-tune. I'm gonna warn you, of course it's gonna be slower. It probably won't be that much slower though. And competing with S1 class cars versus A class cars is a huge difference, but it's way more than three seconds, I believe. So I'm thinking this guy's gonna go three or four seconds slower. Decent amount of grip. We're actually gonna make the rear end softer just a little bit. And then a little stiffer in the front on both anti-roll bars and springs. That should help us a little bit with our oversteer coming out of the corner under power. I will show you the full tune and a share code at the end. If any of you guys are interested, you can either download it or you can make one for yourself. So let's see what we can do in a solo. Ideally, it would be sick to beat a 107, but that car had a lot more, or this car, rather, had a lot more horsepower than what it has now. I think it had like 200 more. So let's see. We're going to skip this lap. I will join you back when we're starting our flying lap, because that's the time that we're going to be paying attention to. All right, here we go. Flying lap time. 
Now, since this car is so light, it's always going to oversteer uh, when you put the throttle on through the corners. So throttle control is definitely necessary for this guy. Always on is not going to work. I could have downshifted there, but I'm liking what we got. hit this corner a little bit of oversteer not surprised I did also warm up so I am decent with the track layout again I've hit it a couple times so my performance shouldn't increase from one lap to another Come on, baby, let's go. Flip the corner, very nice. 108, 109. We gained two seconds by dropping 200 horsepower in this car, more or less, and dropping grip on the tires. So, basically, that shows that A-Class is not always, or how, let me, let me rephrase that. Tuning to a lower class is not always a bad idea. You don't have to have your car fully, fully upgraded and tuned in order to be competitive. What you need to do is get it tuned and upgraded for a specific class. Now, if you're racing your friends and not really doing anything too serious, then it won't matter. Now, if you're racing online, a good tune for the correct performance index will always be better than just fully upgrading and sending it, you know? So... A-class tuning for this car is almost always going to be better than S1 class because you add the new motor and upgrade it all the way and you put all-wheel drive on it, it's going to be S1 and it's going to be unruly and I don't know if it's going to be any better than, say, like a stock Lamborghini that hasn't been tuned because they're already pretty good as is and this car is going to be all over the place with way too much power for its weight and not enough grip because look at the tires <laughs> like they don't get any wider than this all right that 109 was our best time 1096 and i believe the best for my s1 as best as i could do was 1073 so we lost 2.3 seconds which is not bad considering we lost 200 horsepower to make us where we are now so this is where I'm going to leave you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's just a short little tuning video on how to tune this guy. Um, just beware, this car's always going to be squirrely. It's going to be hard to handle no matter what you do to it unless you leave it alone. Even then, the back end's going to slide out around corners. That's, that's just how these cars are. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the next video. Have a great rest of your day.